This is Hypershell X, the world's first outdoor exoskeleton. It's unlike anything you've seen before on this channel and nothing like I've ever tested or reviewed. But what does it do? How does it work? And is this a device that you need in your daily life? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you're looking for the latest in high tech, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right one to match your needs. In this video, we'll take a look at Hypershell X, the world's first outdoor exoskeleton. Before we dive in, let's set the stage. What is an exoskeleton? Basically, it's a wearable robot, a device you strap on your body, usually your legs, back, or waist, that gives you extra strength, endurance, or support. And you may not realize it, but we've actually seen exoskeletons in pop culture for many decades. We don't have to look far. Iron Man suit, in some ways, is the ultimate exoskeleton. There's the 90s cartoon Exo Squad, the Lego series Exo Force, and in Avatar, humans used exosuits to give them an advantage over the Navi. Today, exoskeletons are being developed for both medical and professional use. And a few years ago, I saw how Delta was exploring them for use in baggage handling and in changing tires on airplanes. From Hollywood to hospitals to hiking trails, exoskeletons are no longer just science fiction. They're real, they're wearable, and they're slowly becoming a part of everyday life. And that's where Hypershell X comes in. My Hypershell came with this carrying case, which is also great for transporting it around. Tucked inside, you have the Hypershell Pro X. Surprisingly, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And when unfolded, it's smarter than I thought. And it's relatively light, weighing in at two kilos. It's also worth pointing out that there's a Carbon X model that is even lighter at 1.8 kilos. The Hypershell Pro X ships with an extra battery, a product manual and warranty card, and a charging cable. To put it on, secure Hypershell around your waist and make sure you do all of those adjustments so that you get a tight fit like this. That means adjusting the straps and the lever tube. When worn properly, it should hang from your waist like a pair of pants with a belt. It's not going anywhere, even with the weight of the battery and shell. Next, secure the leg straps. You'll want to adjust them too so that they fall about two inches above your knee. Keep them tight and then lock them in place. On each side of the exoskeleton is a lever, these bars right here, which are then connected to motors, these circular things on the side of each hip. These motors are capable of producing one horsepower and 32 Newton meters of torque. That's a lot of power. Now it's time to talk about how it all comes together. If you're home, stand up and then do this with me. Try marching in place but exaggerate it a little. Or maybe imagine walking up a steep hill. Every time you lift your leg up, it requires energy to carry the weight of all the bones and the muscles. As an exoskeleton, the job of Hypershell X is to help you lift those legs so that you consume less energy and make less of an effort. There are three main modes. Transparent mode is basically using it with the motors off when you don't really need any assistance. You could also switch to eco mode if you need assistance, say running up a hill like this one. And if you need more power, there's hyper mode for say biking across the steep climb that is the Williamsburg Bridge. The other thing that fascinates me is how powerful my stride, even while running up a steep hill. Take a look at this, it feels like I'm a machine. I'm surprising myself. <laughs> Woo! Sensors on Hypershell detect when you're moving your legs and using AI, it predicts your movement so it can respond in real time with just 0.03 seconds of latency. This means you can be walking, race walking even, running, climbing stairs, or even cycling. 
And in all of those scenarios, Hypershell X eases your load. The best part is that as you continue to use it, the built-in motion engine learns your stride signature and unique biometrics and customizes the way it works. So it works best for you. Remember when I said that Iron Man's suit is the ultimate exoskeleton? With these on, I feel like I'm Superman. Or maybe the Flash. That's more accurate. Now that we've figured out how it works, let's talk about what it's for. If you peruse the Hypershell website, there's a lot of content showing users using it while hiking. And I can definitely see this is the perfect use case. Hikes, while fun, can be quite exhausting, and the steeper the climb, the more energy is required. But with Hypershell X, your load is easy. Whether you're someone who lives an active lifestyle like me, or maybe someone who needs a bit of mobility assistance, it makes long hikes more manageable by assisting you with every step of your ascent. You can increase your mileage, even if you're carrying a lot of gear with you. And it's weatherproof, so it'll survive hikes in the desert or snow-capped mountains. But as a city dweller, I was curious, could it be useful for me as well? New York City is full of stairs. Whether you live in an apartment without an elevator or have to climb up stairs to get on the train every day. Climbing is a way of life in the city. And in the past few weeks, I've climbed more than I usually do. And I have to say, the assistance you get while lifting your legs, Hypershell X really does help. To test it out, I climbed eight flights of stairs with and without Hypershell X. Okay, so let's try it first without Hypershell on and see what we get. Okay, we're currently at 88 beats per minute. Let's go. One more floor to go. A little while later. All right, I made it to the eighth floor. My heart rate is 138 beats per minute, which is close to the ceiling of my zone two range. Okay, 10 minutes of rest later. Let's try again. This time with Hypershell on, we are currently at 89 beats per minute. Let's go. Notice over here, we've also set it to hyper mode. Soon after. Same eight flights of stairs, same starting point, but with Hypershell X, I was 128 up top versus 138 without it. That's a 10 beat difference, and my legs, they definitely felt it. My lungs felt it too as I was breathing heavier after, and it took me longer to catch my breath. I found that Hypershell X was great for biking around the city too. With hyper mode turned on, it almost felt like I was using an e-bike, which is why I decided to test it on the Williamsburg Bridge, which connects Manhattan and Brooklyn. I have in the past biked this path, but usually would rather only do it with an e-bike as the steep climb can be challenging. With Hypershell X, I was surprised at how much easier it was to pedal my way across. Then again, it should not come as a surprise. As Hypershell says, it boosts lower limb strength by 40%. On top of that, its motors offer a 30% reduction in physical exertion by offloading some of the effort required for movement. With it on, I was biking further and faster, even on a regular bike without pedal assist. On a recent trip, I also took Hypershell with me to have my dad give it a try. Could this be a device that could be used when they get older? Dad says he felt more supported while going upstairs or walking up inclines. He usually doesn't run much anymore, but gave it a try with eco mode turned up all the way. Hypershell X starts at $9.99 for the Go X. If you want hyper mode, that 30% reduced physical exertion and increased battery performance, go for the Pro X, which is the model I've been testing. It retails for $11.99. At first, I thought the Hypershell Pro X would just be a gadget that's fun to test for a video. But the more I've used it, 
the more I've realized it gives us a glimpse of where personal mobility is heading. TLDR, Hypershell X is a wearable machine that helps you go further. Whether you're in a big city like the one I call home or out exploring some of the best spots out in nature. Whether you're super fit or need mobility assistance, with it on, I feel supported. Things feel lighter and easier. So much so that after a day of use, once I turn it off, everything feels disorientingly heavier for a second. A reminder of how much body weight we actually carry daily. This is probably due to the 30 kg reduction in perceived weight, which they promise. I wish I had these years ago when I'd walk large convention halls at tech shows like CES or IFA, easily logging 20 steps a day while hauling cameras, lenses, tripods, lights and light stands, a slider, and a 16 inch laptop. I can definitely see how Hypershell X would come in handy on a trip I'm planning to Machu Picchu where long hikes and a large heavy backpack with camping gear are on the agenda. And while I love to hike for fitness, I can also see it for those willing to endure steep climbs for epic views. My biggest advice, number one, fit is everything. So make sure it fits right to get the utmost in support. And number two, while I did a lot of crazy stuff for this video, just remember, being assisted doesn't mean you should overdo it. A reduction in perceived effort can make you feel invincible, but you're not. An AI-powered robotic exoskeleton isn't a license to push your body to the limit. You still need to listen to it. After using it for about a month, I can definitely say there is space for Hypershell X in my life and I can't wait to take it on some of the hiking trips that I've got planned for later this summer. But you know what I'm more excited about is the future. If this is just the beginning of this technology, how much more do you think would be possible when the technology gets even better? What about you? Would you like to try Hypershell X out? And are there any use cases that you can think of that I might have missed? Let me know in the comments section down below. Hypershell X is available today. And if you'd like to pick one up, make sure to check out my links down below as well. If you'd like more videos on the latest and greatest innovations in the world of technology, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we publish new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun, travel and fashion, and for news and updates. Make gadgetmash.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs>